Hey guys, Adam from K2 Home Tech here. I wanted to do a quick video tonight to show you the difference between the 1ID and 2ID version of the Gladopto Zigbee LED strip controller. This is the RGB CCT version of it. This one is the by far the most popular version. Um, so I have a 1ID and a 2ID version here. So stay tuned. If you have any questions about how they work, what you can use them with, I'll answer those questions coming up. If you have any other questions, any other concerns, put them down in the comments, please. And uh, stay tuned. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Uh, again, today we want to go over the Gladopto Zigbee LED strip controllers. These are the RGB CCT controllers. This is going to be the difference between a 1ID and a 2ID controller. And first let me say thank you guys for watching, for liking the videos. Uh, for subscribing, I know the video quality isn't that good. You know, I, this is really not my forte is making these videos. So I try to do it as good as I can, but yeah, I realized that we tried green screen. We tried uh, a few other things. Quality's not really that great, but this is a hobby for me as much like it is for you guys. So I, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy these videos. I enjoy helping out and talking to you guys. So any questions, concerns, comments you have, you know, uh, shoot me an email, uh, info at k2hometech.com. Uh, leave a comment down below. I try to answer everything I can um, But if you have any other ideas you want any other videos you want to see any other Products you want to have demoed for you so you can get find out more information on them uh, Just let me know and we'll get to it as much as we can so um, This one in particular is gonna be the 1ID 2ID RGB CCT controllers so RGB CCT is just the red green blue for RGB and then CCT is the correlated color temperature so what I have here today is I have two RGB LED strips and these are one meter strips and they're mounted in these aluminum channels and just hopefully so I can you guys can see the difference and the bulbs will show up with the diffuser a little bit better you'll be able to see them without the glare on the camera hopefully so uh, let me add these so I can capture the screen here and I can show you what it looks like when you add these into your hue system and one other note about these two, uh, the 1ID and 2ID, the 1ID shows up as one bulb like you'd expect. You can control the RGB and the CCT through the same bulb and it's separate, the same way as your Philips Hue or the rest of the RGB CCT bulbs, even from Gladopto, or, uh, they show up the same way. Uh, you can flip back and forth between color and then the white spectrum and you can control warm white to cool white. Uh, RGB is the same as you'd expect on every other one. The 2ID shows up as two bulbs. Now the caution about this one is the 2ID doesn't work with Samsung Smart Things or Hubitat. It only shows up with the RGB uh, ID in that. So if you have Samsung Smart Things or you have a Hubitat, don't buy a 2ID, only buy a 1ID. Now I can tell you just from sales, the 1ID far outsells the 2ID. Um, more people seem to prefer that, but I do know there's a lot of people that actually love the 2ID. So if, you, if you're if you one of the ones that loves the 2ID, please let me know like um, what you use them for. Maybe, you know, if you have any pictures or anything like that, I'd love to see them. Uh, to me, the 1ID is a lot easier to control because there's only one bulb, but let me go ahead and get into adding these into the system so you can see what they look like. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these added to the app. Uh, the first one I'm going to add is going to be the 2ID here. So I'm going to plug it in. The LEDs will turn on. I'm going to light setup, add a light, search. When it finds it, these LEDs here, the purple ones, will turn green like that. And then it'll pop up in the app as 2IDs. A color bulb and a color temperature bulb. And here they popped up. You see extended color light one and color temperature light one. So that's the two IDs. There's two actual bulbs here. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna name this one um, two ID color. Just for so I know which one's which. And I'll add this one as two ID white. And then I will put these into a room. I have a test room. I'll put that in both of them. There we go. Hit the wrong 
my button there. Now let's add it to the test room and go back into my home control. Go to test. Turn it on, turn it off. Okay, now to show you what these do, um, go back into my test room. So I go into the room and I hit the bulbs. You see I have two ID color and two ID white. They're both, let's see down here. That one's all the way up. I can turn the white off. I can turn the RGB off. I can turn the RGB back on. Just by itself, turn the brightness back up again. Flip over to white. It doesn't do anything when I flip it over to white. It just kind of changes the, um, the saturation of it. So I go back to the two ID white. I can turn that on as well. And then when I go into that one, I can set it to warm white or cool white. And then you can see you have your cool white and your color on at the same time. Or you can turn it to your warm white and cool white. Or warm white and color at the same time. Or you put it in the middle and you get your warm white, cool white, and color on at the same time. So this one, a lot of people say they like it because you're able to get a brighter light and you're able to get a more saturated light but to me when I do this and I put it on a color let's put it on red right that's a pretty pretty bright color let's see turn the lights off go back in here now it's on well, let's do it on blue right let's try it on blue so you have it on blue now this is behind a diffuser but the brightness is all the way up and I go back to the whites. I turn the whites on. As soon as I do that, it kind of washes out any of the blue color that you see. So if you turn the whites back off, now you see you have blue color again. If you turn the whites on, and all you seem to get to me is, is a lot more white. Now if you turn that down, it goes back onto the blue spectrum. But um, to me, it, it just doesn't seem as useful, if that's a good way of putting it. Um, I get why people would want it, but it, it, takes, it takes a lot more, uh, a lot more playing around with it to get it to do what you want it to do. Uh, I prefer the white, the uh, the one IDs. Uh, they um, it, they act and perform just like you would expect it to. You know, the two ID. Another another um, complaint I see with these is that since it shows up as two bulbs, if you're using voice control or you're using um, you'd have to tell you know each individual bulb to turn off or turn on and i don't want to say their names obviously your voice control assistants but um you'd have to tell it each one like uh, turn the 2id color off turn the 2id white off for it to get it to do that um instead of just naming it you know your led strip or whatever it might be just one name so i'll leave that one on i go back in now and i'll add the second one and this is the one id same thing, just gonna go into light setup, add a light search, and it'll find it, it'll turn green, and then it'll pop up in the app as one bulb. There you go, extended color light one. I'll rename that one again. I'll name it one ID color, or one ID, just one ID is fine. Just for test, right? Uh, go back, put it in the room, I'll put it in the, put it in the, Test room again. Oh wait, I don't need to do that. What am I doing? Rooms. It's hard to see with the lights on. Uh, test. One ID. Okay. Go back out. Go into home. Go into test. One ID. Oh, I'm on two ID white for some reason. Why am I on? Uh, one ID, there we go. Now the one ID performs like you'd expect it to, right? You get all the colors. If you hit the white over here, it flips over right away to the white spectrum. You got cool white, you got warm white. You get back over your RGB. Again, it's all named as one. So the disadvantage of this one is that you can't have the whites on and the colors at the same time. Um, but you can have or you can only name it you name it one uh one name so if you're using a voice assistant you just tell it you turn off my tv light turn off my whatever wherever you put this um these i can 
tell you these sell a lot more than the one ID than the two ID. The two ID do have a pretty uh, Yeah.